they have a very very disciplined camp right like you you have to have your hair cut a certain way like you, you can't be f-ing around showing up with blue mohawks or <laughs> nothing crazy like it's very disciplined right yeah i think that's one of the the reasons why they're all successful i feel like khabib goes in there he grabs you he holds you down you don't you never felt it before because his strength is another level and that's why i feel like a lot of these guys break once they feel it when habib's on top of you he's like breaking me at every single point and i'm asking him for it to, no brother you just got to keep going and i was like all right cool uh, so the next time he does it, he's just on top of me again. He's like mounting me, then I'm turning, giving him my back, and then he's like just laughing as he's talking to the guys outside of the cage as he's on top of me, and I'm feeling like disrespected, but it's like, this is the Habib. <laughs> and Khabib just yelling at me, get up, we're not playing jiu-jitsu. This is get up, this is MMA. We're not playing jiu-jitsu, not like, you're, you're on your back, you're losing. And their mentality is, let me hold you down, because I'm not gonna lose this round. I'm gonna stay on top of you. I don't care if I'm in your guard the whole time, mm. and I'm just staying on top of you with pressure. You just lost, but I just lost because I'm on my back. And right. I figured that's their mentality. They don't want to lose any round in practice. They don't want to lose uh, any minute in grappling. If they mm. get taken down, they're popping right back up. It's not, let me get taken down. Let me play on my back a little bit. Let me flow a little bit like that. No, mm. it's rough, hard, 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 hard. When Habib walks into the room, it's it's like an army. We all get up. We all stand in line. He'll stand in line. He'll point to who's sparring hard in the cage because it's a different type of sparring, too, where – Normally, for us, we have a sparring day in Chicago, or most teams I've trained at will have a sparring day like Monday or Wednesday, at, where it's every, for them, they're doing everything every day. It's small glove sparring every day, then right after that, you're taking off the gloves and you're grappling every day. Then right after that, you're going in the cage and you're wrestling on the cage every single day. Small glove sparring every day. But it's, it's light, so it's not where, right. where it's, you don't want to knock, you're not trying to knock each other out. Right. But then if he points to you that you're going to your hard sparring, hard sparring, then you're going in the cage with big gloves on. Mm-hmm. And those guys are going, we're going hard and he's cornering. And then Javier Mendez is in there cornering, so it's, you're getting that real fight feel. For mm. me, I was down there with him for five weeks, so Habib would corner his guy, and my coach, Lewis Taylor, was down there with me with, uh, in Dubai, and he would corner me. So it's like, it's a real fight feel. The guys outside of the cage will sit there peek in, so you get those little nerves mm. that you would get uh, in a fight. And I'm sparring with somebody, his cousin Abu Becker, who's uh, also in the UFC welterweight. You're sparring with somebody you're really not used to. So you also still have that that tension that you feel like, I don't know what this guy's going to do. He's not one of my normal training partners where I know, well, he's got a good left kick or he got a good right. cross. I know what he's going to bring to the table. It's like, no, it's a real fight feel every single time because I don't know what he's going to bring to the table. He doesn't know what I'm going to bring to the table. And we have two corners cornering each other in there. So mm. when it's your hard sparring, you're in the cage. When it's not hard sparring, you're outside of the cage. Training with those guys, I tell people, I'm like, if you never train with the guys from Dagestan, from somebody on their team, you don't know what it feels like. It's not it's not regular jiu-jitsu. Like it's like quicksand where you're in there, you think you're moving, you're looking for a way out. Uh, you know, I'm I'm really good at flow rolling and everything, and then I'm training with them my last camp and I'm, none of them. Like everybody on their team has that same style, same uh, uh, pressure on top, and I'm feeling it and I'm like I need to change what I do in Chicago. I need to change what I'm doing cuz these guys are so dominant with the way they play, the way they uh, grapple. It's like they're going to beat everybody. Nobody's going to mess with them.